Hi, uh, you guys, and happy Easter to you guys. This is Prophetess of Phil Sabrina Acapo and wanted to bring your prophetic word via the leading of the Holy Spirit to you guys on today and ask with any prophetic word, you would absolutely want to go to the Lord in prayer, testing the spirit. Testing the spirit, excuse that, to affirm and confirm that perhaps this prophetic word is for you. In Holy Spirit, I invite you in to take full charge, to take full control, to take full access. I decrease as you increase. Allow me to bring forth your word with your glory, with your power, with your grace, with your mercy. Taking, Telling your story so your name can be glorified for the win of souls to the gospel of Jesus Christ. In Jesus Christ, by the name that I do pray. Amen, 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 amen. Holy Spirit is saying, allow me to fight your battles. Because you are not on the opposing team, but you're on the winning team. And if you're going through a circumstance or a situation, place it in my hands and see what I would do. And see, won't it be a sure win? Because you are on the winning side. No battle belongs to you but every battle belongs to him so he's wanting you to call him in and allow him to fight for you he longs to fight for you and signal his healing angels ward angels good news angels and archangels to dispatch release assist and take full charge control and access and i'm telling you it's a sure win on that thing it is even a game changer and allow me to fight your battles. Exodus 14 and 14 is what the Holy Spirit gave to me. The Lord will fight for you and you shall hold your peace. Hold your peace and allow the Lord to fight your battles. He also gave me 2 Chronicles 20 and 15. He said, listen, all you people of Judah, and Jerusalem. Listen, King Jehoshaphat. This is what the Lord says. Do not be afraid. Don't be discouraged. This mighty army for the battle is not yours, but God's. Every situation, circumstance, weight, care, burden, anything that you're concerned about, anything that's going on around you, that's going to trigger you or cause you to get out of character or get upset. The Lord wants you to know that you are his elect and he wants you to make a decision. Because every burden, every weight and every battle is not yours. He wants you to place it in his throne of grace. He wants you to submit those battles over to him, submit those problems over to him, to submit those situations over to him, to submit those circumstances over to him. Because I came up on a situation on today and I can promise you, you guys, I wanted to take it into my own hands. I was already talking about what I was going to do and how I was going to handle it. And God said, hold up. No, you're not. What you're going to do is that entire circumstance and situation. You're going to take it out of your hands right now. And you're going to place it in my hands because no battle belongs to you. Every battle belongs to me. Remember, you are my beloved. You are my child and you are on a winning side. And there are no losing battles with you being on a winning side. I fight to win. I play to win and I never lose. And I am a game changer. I will change and rearrange your life on a totally different plateau, from a totally different perspective. Allow the Lord to step in. Because I found myself actually getting upset over a situation. And the Holy Spirit immediately stepped in and corrected me. Like, no, don't get out of character. Don't take matters into your own hand. Trust and believe the process of God's plans and his plans will stand. And you will win. But you got to trust him and ask him, 
Allow him to come in. His word says, ask of me and it will be given unto you. Seek and ye shall find. Knock and the door will be open unto you. Ask and keep on asking. Seek and keep on seeking. Knock and keep on knocking. And the door will be open unto you. He says, for I know the plans that I have for you. Declares the Lord. He wants you to have a future and a hope. So that means every battle, every circumstance, every situation, every weight, every care. He wants you to cast all those burdens over to him. Cast that fight over to him. Cast your feelings and emotions over to him. And he wants you to call him in. Don't leave him out of the equation because God is a jealous God. You don't put anyone before him. And you don't take matters into your own hand when you know you have Master Jesus standing for you, waiting on you to call him in, waiting for that encounter, waiting for that visitation, waiting for you to invite him in. He longs for the call. Allow me. The Lord has said, allow me. To just come on in and fight those battles. And he gave me Yolanda Adams' song. There is no pain Jesus can feel. There is no hurt he cannot heal. All things work according to the master's purpose and his holy will. Definitely listen to that song once you get a chance. Because the Lord is wanting you to know that all things are going to work for your good. Romans 8 and 28. All things work together for the good of those who love God and to those who are called according to his purpose. The Lord said he's already got it worked out. What you're pre-planning. He has already gone before you in advance and made every pathway straight and made every crooked place straight. Submit every weight, circumstance, burden, care, concern, weight, any feelings or emotions, anything that you want to say that's out of character and out of his trait and out of his, his name, his record, his image or his character. The Lord is saying, no, surrender it on over to me and you will see. Trust in the Lord with all your heart, all your soul, and do not lean unto your own understanding, but in all your ways, acknowledge me and I will direct your path. Allow me to direct your path. Allow me to fight your battles. Allow me to step in. Allow me to order and orchestrate your steps so you can walk in alignment, decent and in order with the assignment. According to my laws, according to my precepts, according to my statutes, according to my commands, you will stand. Allow me to step in and fight your battles and you will win. This will be a life changer. This will be a game changer. You will not be the same. Your life will go in a different direction. You will have learned your lesson. You, have, you will have stepped into my traits. You will have stepped into my characteristics. You will have stepped into my name. You would have stepped into my record, my image. This is what the Lord longs to do in this season. This was what he died on the cross and shed his power and shed his resurrected blood to bring forth his resurrected power on today. So you can have staying power. So he can make every way out of no way from every angle. So you will win. Take every obstacle out of your pathway. Because he wants you to stay with him. Because even his word says he would never leave you nor forsake you. And he wants you also as well to, to inherit his traits, to inherit his characteristics. So that characteristic also as well means allowing him to fight your battles, allowing him to step in. I know sometimes, even myself, I want to take things into my own hands and do things the way I want to do it. But when you're walking in a different characteristic, when you're walking in a different on a different level, when you're walking in your wealthy place, when you're walking on a different plateau, when you're walking according to your father's traits, when you're walking according to his record and according to his name, it's a game changer. You're not the same person. Oh, wine skins can't mix with the new. They just won't mix. It's not going to work. So the Lord is saying, turn this thing over to me. Turn. 
turn it over to me and you will see. Allow me to fight your battles. Allow me to cause you to stand. Because you're on the tip of the iceberg. You're on the tip of the iceberg. So you got to be careful what you say. You got to be careful of what you say, of how you handle a situation. Because that's the very thing that could take you two steps back when the Lord is trying to take you 10 steps ahead. So definitely be spirit led and allow the Lord to walk it out and allow the Lord to work it out by allowing him to fight your battles throughout the entire process. Because I had to catch myself knowing that, oh no, I'm not going to deal with this mess because you know I'm, I'm blessed. In the city, in the field, coming in, going out, the head, not the tail, above, and not beneath, the linda, not the bar. So you know what, Lord, right now, at this pivotal moment, I had a choice to make. The Lord has said, you have a choice to make. Which one will you choose? Allow me in to fight your battles. Because I've got something better for you. It'll be a game changer. It'll be a name changer. It'll be generational wealth. Because the Lord is elevating your level and he's orchestrating and ordering your steps. Steps of a good man and steps of a righteous man, they are ordered by the Lord. The Lord is saying, no, this time I'm changing the game. This time I'm fighting your battles. You're not going to take matters into your own hands. You're going to place them in your master Jesus' hands. A friend that sticks closer than a brother, a friend who will never leave you, no forsake, a friend who longs for you to call in, a friend who longs for that visitation, a friend who longs for that encounter. Jeremiah 33 and 3. I don't know who this is for, but I am telling you, somebody needed to hear this word on today. Because the Lord has said a way has been made. He does have you in the palm of his hands. You will stand. He will come in and fight your battles. But you got to open your mouth. When you open your mouth, don't take matters into your own hand about something that's not going to bring you investment. Or something, something that's not going to change the game. The Lord has said, give that thing over to me. And your life will never be the same. It'll be a life change. It'll be a game change because I've fought your battles. And you will have passed every test. And I'll bless you tremendously. I'll bless you beyond measures. I'll bless you above unlimited treasures. I'll bless you to walk in your wealthy place. I'll bless you with staying power. I'll bless you and it'll be worth your while. Turn those battles over to me and you will see. Trust me and you will see. You will never lose. On the winning side, there's not any losing opponents. On the winning side, you will pass every test. On the winning side, your character will change. Your name will change. Your situation will change. Your circumstances will change. Nothing stays the same. It does not stay the same. The Lord has said, this is the season of change. And I am telling you, you are right at the brink. Keep your eyes open so you can get the prize and chase after what the Lord is doing for you. Now allow him to come in and fight. And he's going to make it right. And you will walk in righteousness and holiness for his name's sake, for his word says, yea, though I walk through the valley and through the shadow of death, I will feel no evil for thou art with us. Thou ride night and staff, thou comfort us, thou prepares the table before us in the presence of our enemies. Thou anointest our head with all our cup. It runs over. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives and we will dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever because we chose to call him in. Because we chose to trust that he's a sure win. Because we chose to allow him to Fight our battles and we chose to hold our peace and allow him to carry us through the process, allow him to order and orchestrate our steps. Now we're walking in our righteous land. Now we're walking in the land of promise. Now we're walking in sustainability. Now we're walking in where we will stand. Allow him to fight your battles because you have won. Why? Because you are on the winning side. Hold your peace and allow the Lord to fight your battles. Thus said the spirit of the living God in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Like, share, and subscribe, you guys. Like, share, and subscribe, you guys. And I love each and every one of you guys. I am constantly praying for each and every one of you guys. Pray that you had a phenomenal 
Easter and that you had a fabulous dinner with your family and that you were able to enjoy the festivities and that you had safe traveling grace and enjoyed everything that was going on around you because the Lord is saying, this is your season of change. It's not going to be like in times past. Now you have walked into your everlasting because you have chose to turn everything over to me. Every court case over to me and allow me to bring you peace by allow me to fight your battles. That's said the spirit of the living God in the mighty name of Jesus. I love each and every one of you guys. I'm constantly praying for each and every one of you guys. We will definitely talk on the next. And may the Lord richly bless each and every one of you guys and see each and every one of you guys through to the greatness of success of God's best. I don't know why I'm even, this video is going long and anticipated, but the Lord wanted me to get this out because I know most certainly it was not for me, but someone was going through something tonight and they wanted to make a conscientious decision without the Lord being front and center. And the Lord is saying, no, I don't want you to do that. I want you to choose me. Trust me and you will see. Be faithful in me. If you're faithful over a few things, I'll make you rulers over men. I want to change your game. I want to change your name. I want to change your character. I want you to represent my traits. I want you to represent by telling your story so my name can be glorified. Allow me to fight your battles. Thus said the spirit of the living God in the mighty name of Jesus. Take care. Love you guys. Constantly praying for each and every one of you guys. And we will definitely talk on the next. Thank you so much for all that you do. And keep the comments, the likes, the shares, the words of encouragement, the prayers. Keep them coming because I'm telling you, they helping taking me there. They're helping changing my character along with the Lord being front and center. I appreciate you. And thank you for sowing into this ministry. It does not go unnoticed. The Lord sees you and I see you. Allow him to come in and fight your battles because this is what is happening and you are winning because you are on the winning side. You guys, I can go on and on with this because just allow these rhema words to permeate, absorb, flow, and saturate in your spirit. And take heed to every frame of word that was spoken. If you have to listen to this video over and over and over and over and over again. Until you get what the Lord is saying. Because he's not playing about you. He's not playing about you. He was like, no, you're, you won't take any more steps back. You're taking steps forward. That's why you're placing everything in my hands. That's why you're calling me in. That's why you're calling me in. For that visitation. That's why you're inviting me in. No longer will you do it without me. That's why I've been changing and rearranging your life. Taking the old wine skins out and placing it in the new. Because God has something better for you. Because you chose to allow him to fight your battle. Because you chose to call him in. And allow peace to come in instead. And be spirit led. Thus said the spirit of the living God in the mighty name of Jesus. Take care and we will talk on the next. God bless you. Bye-bye. Love you. Bye-bye.